Hey, today I'm going to talk about how to extract uh, pictures out of a Microsoft Word document. You know, sometimes someone will send you a Word document in email, has a bunch of photographs in it, maybe it's family photos, and they thought it might be easier just to stick it all into one big document as opposed to sending all the different uh, JPEG files in email. But the problem is it's not always easy to get them out of that Word document onto your disk so you can print them out or put them in your own graphics program. So I'm going to go show ahead and show you how to do that today. First thing I'm going to do is take a look at uh, the documents that open with the free version of a Microsoft Office workalike. This particular one is called LibreOffice. And it's done very easily in software like this. If you want to extract this particular image here, all you have to do is click on the image do a right click on the mouse and say save graphic. It will ask you where you want to put it. Let's put it on the desktop. I'm just going to call it uh, test. Do a save. And right there it is over here. Just double click it. And away you go. It's just that easy. Unfortunately it's not quite that easy in Microsoft Word itself so I'll go ahead and show you how to do that next. Okay, now we're looking at the same sample document, except this time we're using Microsoft Word version 2007. Now, as I showed you with the LibreOffice, all you had to do is select it, right-click, and there was an option here to uh, save it to your hard disk. Unfortunately, we don't quite have that same uh, liberty here with Microsoft. Uh, big surprise, right? All I can really do is cut it or copy it. I guess I could copy it and then paste it into an image program if I had one and then do a save. But I found a way that seems to be a little bit easier for me, especially if you have a document that has a bunch of photographs in it that you want to save out. Just go and do a Save As, and then select Other Formats here. Come down to the Save As type and change that to webpage.htm.html. And let's make sure we put it on our desktop so it's easy to find. And let's go ahead and do a Save. This does uh, two things. It actually creates the HTML file and then puts all the attachments like images into a folder of the uh, same name. So here we see it's uh, sample.docx was our original document. Now we have a sample.htm which is the HTML version and then we have the sample underscore files which is where all our goodies are at. If you open this up here you'll see there are our two images from that document. You actually see two versions of each image for the document, and typically they're different sizes, like this one is 1408 by 1056, and this one's about uh, half that size, so you can pick and choose. Maybe you want a larger one, maybe you want a smaller one. In any regard, it's just that easy. Something else you could also do, let's close this, go back into the original Word document. Windows has a built-in screen capture utility. So if you're in a different program that doesn't have a Save As option like I just used, you could use what is known as the Snipping Tool. And the easiest way to get that is just go to your Start menu and start typing Snipping, and it'll pop up here. There it is. OK, there it is. And what you can do is there's several options here. You can select a rectangular area, or you can select the whole window. For example, the whole window here, you can see that uh, it's outlined in red. Or I could select the whole desktop. Or if you want something more specific, you could just say a rectangular snip, and then come in here and uh, highlight the part that you want. And now you can go ahead and save that to a file. Once again, I'll put it in my desktop so it's easy to find. And uh, there it is. Okay, I hope this helps. See you later.